Hey, my name's Brandon. Y'all want to hear a call start? Ain't see your beauty. Weak. What's up, guys? It's Brandon from Human Cruise here, as you all know, back with another video. Today, I'm here with... The real Brandon from Hemi Cruising. Well, there's two Brandons from Hemi Cruising. No, but for real, my name's Thomas. I'm from Film Fanatics. You've seen me on here before. Brandon's had me on before. Uh, for, well, how many videos have I been on already? Uh, about four or five. Yeah. So most of most of his videos you've seen me in. Um, and today we are working on my 2014 black Dodge Charger RT. Uh, we're adding some mods to it over there. Um, as you all know, Brandon's color scheme is black and red, as you can see from his phone case. But uh, I am doing a black and white type thing. So I've already added a uh, white RT badge, and I've already done some side marker tints, as you can see. Um, so today, we're kind of adding on to that of kind of my first wave of mods. Um, we're adding a tail light tint from Lux Auto Concepts. Uh, a black and white head turners uh, badge or uh, decal and then we're adding the an oil catch can like Brandon just recently put in his car He's, he, he, doesn't like, right. he doesn't like you guys he's too busy playing on his phone so uh, yeah we're waiting for the engine to cool off a little bit and we'll get started we're about to go ahead oh I also have a white RT badge to go up front um, it's red right now. We're gonna put a white one on so I have to take the whole bumper off and I think it'll be a fun video. What do you think Brandon? Uh, this bumper is gonna be a pain to get off But um, other than that everything else is pretty straightforward The yeah. tail light tents may be a pain. I've never done that before. I don't think it'll be too difficult The side marker tents weren't hard to um, apply But uh, tail lights are a lot bigger <laughs> This video is definitely going to be much more uh, vlog style than the last video. Yeah. I mean, you've already seen them put in a catch yeah. can, so you guys already know uh, what that's like. So we're just kind of going to, which, I mean, do you, you don't really need to see how to put a yeah, decal you, on your windshield. If you're here, you probably know how to put a decal on your windshield. Yeah. It's not hard. It's really not that difficult. But, but uh, so that's what we're doing today. <coughs> We've just got some basic tools here. To yeah, basic tools. Um, we got some PB blaster that'll help whenever we do the catch can. Uh, some screwdrivers. That's gonna all that. All this stuff is for the front bumper removal. Yeah, which, except for these. These are for uh, getting the PCV hose off for the catch can and putting this one on because the hoses they give you if you saw the last video the hoses that they give you are undersized on the inside so you have to use some force to get them on and off yeah so I guess we'll kind of just keep you guys updated on what we're doing uh, we're taking the front bumper off first is that right yeah we're gonna do that first we're putting that badge on is it still in the car yeah so here's the uh, badge in the plastic you can't really see it all too well but um, that's what it looks like. It's got brackets and everything and stuff. Yeah, you dropped it. You break it, you buy it. Perfect. All right, mod done. Perfect. Teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, just in case you didn't know, adding badges to your car that is guaranteed horsepower. Like yeah. For Th every, this this alone, I think is like I think they promise yeah I think they promise 25, but I think you can uh, if you tune it up, you can get it up yeah. to about uh, 35, 40. So uh, and if you put like hell, if you have a V6 and you put like Hellcat badges on it, well that's guaranteed like 500 horsepower. Yeah, so. right there. So you, I mean, as long as you have the badges, I mean you you have the car. Yeah, you have like why car. pay? Why would you pay? <laughs> How much is it? Like eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, for a demon. We can just buy the badges and get the exact same performance. Yeah. It doesn't really make a lot. Nobody's of Nobody's ever gonna want to race you anyways. Yeah. Cause they, they're just gonna see the demon head on the side and they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, he's got a demon. That's too much for me. Yeah, and they're gonna they're gonna wimp out. So you don't even have to worry about it. In all seriousness, up badging is not cool. Do not up badge your car. Yes, please don't. You are you are the you scum the worst. of the earth. Yes. Don't don't just, say, just to prove I'm not up badging. Yeah. He has a Hemi. I have a Fiat. It's an RT. Yeah. We're not. We're just changing the color. Yeah. 
Um, you'll probably see me on here doing my car things as well because why not? I don't really have a personal channel. But I plan on adding some sort of white decals to this to kind of bring out the uh, color scheme a little bit more. I've already added, I did also forget to mention, I did add the uh, door cord in here. Uh, the 75 cord. set my life. Yeah, which was actually like $32 for me, but hey, I added it and I think it looks pretty good. So we're kind of slowly, slowly building our way uh, up there to have the complete car. I definitely need, the wheels are, th these have to go. Would you agree, Brandon, these have to go? Eh, I like them more than I like the chrome wheels on my car. But they're not black wheels. So, get you some Hellcat replica. Wheels. I should. But, uh, yeah, so we'll just keep you guys updated as to the progress of the car and what all we're doing, I guess. We're going to start taking this thing apart. Yeah, that'll be fun. Should be. Let's go. So here we're watching Thomas struggle with tools. This fucking sucks. <laughs> we're, we're, we're less than 10 minutes into the job and he's already hating himself. It's just trying to get this thing back. If the tire wasn't here, it'd be a lot better. There we go. How did you work around the tire? You just kind of have to hold on. I, I have to show you. I have to show the uneducated how there to do we, this. There we go. He's doing it. This is the first time he's ever actually turned a wrench on his own car. Uh, oh, my own car, yeah. Not period. What a shame. So we finally got the bumper off. Took us long enough. This oh. is what a charger looks like without a front bumper. Yeah. In case any of you wanted to know. In case you were curious. <laughs> looks quite strange, I do say. So now let's go find the culprit of why we have to even take this thing off. Where is it? Right, right here. there. 
can kind of see it. Boom, she's gone. Like the wind. Are you ever planning on using this again? Uh, yeah, I'm keeping them both. Oh, uh, dang it. I was about to be like, because it would be so much easier for me to put mine on my car if I could just clip it into the grill, because this is a clip style. Mm -hmm. And the ones there that we're putting on has bolts that go through here yeah. and backing plates. Well, you can keep that and just give me your uh, other one and I'll keep. I'm keeping them for souvenirs. Oh, yeah. Or souvenirs just to kind of have. If you ever get rid of the car, let me know and I'll take it off. <laughs> All right, so now we're about to put in the new one. The new one, which is right here. So let's do this. So it's on the car now. You can see like the little bolt sticking up right there. Brandon is still under the bumper playing on his phone. Mm -hmm. Taking a picture of it. It's pretty quiet down here. Yeah. How about now? That looks great. Alright, what do you say we put this back on? How about we don't? Let's just never put it back on. You won't need a bumper. All right, well, we have put the front bumper back on the car now. Thomas is tightening up the last bolt. The very last one. I think, yep, the little cup is empty, so that's all of them. And all we did was stick a ugly little RT badge down there. Mm, but beautiful one. <coughs> I think next we're going to put the catch can on. Yeah, we, we remembered that we can't actually put the head turner's logo on. Or the, the head turner's decal on because... Well, well we're going to find out if we can or not. Well, yeah, we might be able to, but it's looking like we probably won't. The way that those decals work from the supplier that I got them from is you have to let them cure for 24 hours where you could cut your windshield wipers on. And... Uh, it's raining. Yeah, it, it's raining. So he's going to have to have his windshield wipers. And the reason why is because on the charger, if you can tell, this is pretty much the windshield wiper arc right here where the rain ends. And the the HT is gonna come down below to like right here. So, yeah. And let's show you the sticker so you can see why that would be, especially be a problem. <coughs> yeah. So on the sticker here, it's like personally cut. So each layer is different. So the white is different from the black. And so those two could end up getting peeled up as well as the whole entire thing. It'd just be bad news bears. I'm about to call the person who makes them and see if uh, if we cure it with a hair dryer or some form of heat, if that will speed things up. But uh, he may have to just do it at home. Yeah, and wait, I can use my car again because it's gonna rain all weekend. Yeah. Let's put a catch can on. Let's put a catch can on, let's do it. So, catch cans, finally on. What do you think, Brandon? How was that? As easy as it was on mine. Not very. So we got our cover back on. He's putting these things back on. Still got the, he got the speed logics. Uh, he got red, I got silver. I just well, they come in plain. silver, I just painted mine. Oh yeah, true, he painted his red. And I may eventually paint that white, maybe get some like, white uh, billet caps for this kind of stuff right there but for now this is fine maybe i'll even paint my you know this white and that the lettering black or something i don't know we'll figure something out won't we brandon that's right so uh that's the thing about cars is that there's endless possibility as to what you're doing yeah i mean as long as it doesn't kill the car you if, can do it if you've got the money and the budget you can do anything you want yeah so it is a blank canvas Pretty much, yeah. So uh, I think now all we have left is the uh, tail light tent and then we're gonna see about the uh, decal. decal right there. So yeah, we'll keep you updated. What are you doing, Brandon? Why are you on top of my car? We are giving you the seal of approval from Head Turners 
Heck yeah. He's uh, got towels on the hood, thankfully. And you want to explain why you learned how to, why you need to put towels there, Brandon? Because I scratched the crap out of my car doing this. Well, not doing this. But we were uh, taking his senior casuals and he thought he was going to be cute. You, you can put the picture up if you want to. He thought he was going to be cute and do, what was it, a diva pose? Yeah, I was trying to replicate the, uh, the victory pose that you can get on Diva in Overwatch where she is laying backwards across the top of her mech doing a peace sign. You thought he'd do that in blue jeans with rivets. Yeah, with rivets. <laughs> so he has a bunch of little I have a bunch of packs. marks in my hood. Yeah. Well, are there any more since you polished it? No. Nah. Well, I mean, there, there's chips, but... Yeah. They're... They're not as bad now, but we are making me an official Head Turners member. Or trying to. Trying to. Yeah. We found out that we can actually apply heat to it. Um, the person who makes the makes these said, I don't see why that wouldn't work. So we're going to try this and hopefully I won't have to order another one. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm trying to, oh, Lord have mercy. So I'm trying to get all these mods done before, there's a, that in the way. So I'm trying to get all these mods done before next weekend because we have a car meet, a head turners meet up uh, next weekend. Isn't that right? We do. Yeah, it's another cruise in the res. I imagine you'll be doing some vlogs. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so everybody's meeting up from all the head turners thing. and So I'm trying to get you know all these mods on and I may see if I can order another uh, mod or two um, see if I can put them on before next weekend uh, I think that'll be fun don't you think Brandon yeah. do, you, do you have any more mods planned not right now no he's focusing on getting that off yeah so uh, we'll let you guys know uh, when we'll film the progress I guess and just like that, she's good. Oh boy, what do you think, Brandon? I'm a head turner now. Are you proud of me? No. Oh. Well, you uh. You never make me proud, son. But deity. But but you will never you will never make me proud. But deity. He can't drive. He can't drive. He's terrible at this. <coughs> he can't drive. God, he's dumb. He can't drive. There you go. That's good. Yeah. You can't drive. You spun all over the side of your car. Yeah, I kind of did. It kind of can't help it, though, because it's kind of mud everywhere. I would have spun anywhere, really. Rip. All right, all the mods on my car are finally done. Here is the uh, tail light tint. I'm actually, I'm very happy with how this turned out. What, what do you think, Brandon? How do you think it turned out? I guess it's good. I mean, it's something that I don't think I would do on my car unless I did the full on. My complaint is, is what they're trying to do is they're trying to mimic the look of the 2015 or the 2014 and up tail lights which is solid black across here and it just has the ring around the edge but the problem with that is is that the chargers reverse lights for 2011 through 2014 are right here and then your brake light is actually inside of this ring so you can't black this out fully and I feel like 
it would actually, uh, it would look like it's supposed to if you could black out this center section fully, but you can't because there's a freaking brake light right here and a reverse light here. Yeah, but I think for what we have, I think it looks, I think it's worth the money for what we have. I, I personally don't see a difference. I mean, like, I can tell that this is darker, but there's no light right here for me to, I don't know. I think it looks a lot better. To each their own. Especially, I I especially I when it's, much. like, off and just sitting here, it looks a lot better, in my opinion, because it's not just, like, I think it works better with my color scheme, black and white. Because it's not so much, just so much like violent red looking at you dead in the face. Uh, I think it looks good. But as a little bit of a recap, uh, we, or actually I didn't put that on. We did that. Um, the tail light tent come around here. We did, we put that little badge right on the grill. And if I open up the hood here. Come on, I released it. There it goes. And we put the catch can right there. So uh, overall, pretty good day, I'd say, uh, for my car. Now, some of you may be wondering where Brandon's car is. Well, he's getting warranty work done on it. Uh, well, uh, recall work, actually. Um, he's getting his alternator, passenger airbag, and something else. I think put in this is the second day it's been in there and they put his alternator in somebody else's car somehow don't know how that happened so he's just gonna have to go back for the alternator but we're about to go run and pick it up um, it is currently 346 uh, in the afternoon so we may try to do some mods on his car if we have time by the time we get back um, we'll see what happens we'll let you guys know and uh, maybe we'll jump into some mods maybe we'll conclude the video i don't know we'll have to just wait and see but uh i guess we should go ahead and go let's go